act quick to get 10% back on all TCG player singles and sealed products. We're going to talk about a great place to pick up PSA cards on the secondary market and we're going to take an in-depth look at some of the some of my favorite Japanese promos that is the cosplay Pikachu cards. This is Pokemon. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemart where we take a look at these Pokemon TCG secondary market and try to make whatever insights we can to start. Um, we are, there is a bonus bucks offer going on for TCG player from now until uh, January 28th, 8 a.m. EST. So I rushed to get this episode out because normally, uh, you know, I try to like to plan out what I'm going to talk about, but I kind of rushed this one because I just saw this. I was like, all right, everyone has to know about this. Uh, this doesn't happen too often, and I'll say 10% is back is great. eBay, every once in a while, I'll have. Um, I feel like it's very rare for them to go above 10%. Uh, so TCG player, I feel like it's great for singles, um, just to complete collections and stuff like that. Not so much for like sealed product. I feel like their sealed products are almost always above, you know, prices you can get them elsewhere. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is finally pick up the rest of the cards from Hidden Fates, especially since we're kind of done on those openings for the time being. So the eight cards remaining, I'm just gonna pick them up. And I think, uh, you know, looking through my binder collections, I'm probably gonna do Unlimited Rocket and maybe Gym Heroes as well. Pick up whatever ones I feel like are pretty good prices. I, be, I think if, I encourage you to take a look. I think if you look through some collections you wanna finish, you'll be surprised at how low the prices are, especially for the binder collection, you can get away with with light play, maybe even mod play. Um, you know, very good prices indeed to be found. TCGplay.com. Make sure you check it out. Uh, ends tomorrow, 8 a.m. or the 28th if you don't watch this video right away. All right. So as per new tradition, I guess, we're going to take a look at some of the promo cards that are unique in that they are not part of any official Sun and Moon set. You just need to buy the collection boxes. And probably the most popular one, the most successful one, is definitely Trevenant Dustnor or the Pale Moon GX box. And <laughs> Jumbo card, well, there's only eight listings, but they're still going for like 550. Actually, we'll get to the eBay part, but I think actually one was sold for that price. So they do sell. I'm not sure why this thing says out of stock. When we click into it, it will have some listings. But they are pretty high, still hovering around that. All right, so if you want to pick it up, there's only two listings. If you pick it up off TCG Player, it'll cost you $17 when the sealed box only costs 20. So this is a great example of a card that, you know, you can't pick it up from a booster box. You have to buy that collection box, and uh, but the card is really good. There is value there. Uh, so we will see in eBay, I think like there are plenty of sold listings for way under 17, but it's very interesting. The TCG, TCG Player has it at 17. All right, another one. This one just came out, and we actually have. Uh, we'll actually open this for tomorrow's episode. So stay tuned. Vet, we'll open up two of these. Uh, Alolan Sand Slash. These. Uh, this one is significantly lower. So, although I'm really curious about this card. All right, jumbo card, two dollars, whatever. So, Alolan Sand Slash. In case you're not familiar with this, you haven't seen it. Uh, has an ability. If you whatever damages this, takes three damage. Okay, sure. Uh, the Frost Breath, I'm not crazy about. I feel like 130 is the magic number. 120 will come up short of, over important things like Giratina. Giratina is the only one that comes to mind. But 120 I think will work for... It is water type, so it'll work pretty well against a lot of fire-based decks. And, but this Spiky Storm GX really has me interested. I saw a video on YouTube, I think it was by Tricky Jam, kind of like saying that this was an interesting variant of Malamar. And I'm guessing it revolves around a GX attack. You use like spell tag and stuff like that just to spread out some damage. Maybe you use um, Weezing with the Roxy or something just to sprinkle some damage all over the place. And then boom, 100 damage to all of them. Maybe that's just enough to wipe the board. So if this card is very interesting, it is a stage one though, so you have to evolve it from Alolan Sandshrew. I'm not sure how, exactly how easy that will be, but I think this is definitely something I'm going to want to try out. So we're going to keep an eye on this card as well going forward, but right now, $5.95, not too bad, or not too good for a when the box itself costs $20 and only comes with four packs. One of them is a XY series, so definitely not as good as the Trevnor. Meowth V, I feel like this thing has come up a little bit, but... Uh, this card is interesting because Sword and Shield set has been revealed. Meowth is not present in there as well as his V Max. And 
don't know, I still am hopeful for this card. I feel like it does have, it's pretty flexible. Uh, obviously it's colors and go in basically any deck. I feel like it uh, works really well with Welder, uh, especially with the new rule. Like this thing, if you go second, you can uh, slash and claw it's turn one for that 130. And then next turn, pretty easily evolve them into VMAX and get your GMAX rush, gold rush attack for 200 and draw three cards. It's card drawing engine. 200 damage should two shot most of the things 300 hp is not a lot but you know there are still cards that can do 300 damage but um so that's not great compared to like the 340 like snorlax or something uh but this thing definitely can two shot anything and there's probably only a handful of things can one shot it back so i'm kind of hopeful for this card to go up in price but as of right now it's looking around 450 uh, all right, but we're going back to Trevnor. Maybe I should reorder these tabs a little bit. Uh, these are the Pale Moon boxes. They are still going for 25. This is that Jumbo card that actually was sold uh, recently for 550. But here we go. So, you know, on TGG Player, it's listing at 17, but you can definitely pick it up off eBay for cheaper. This one, $10, sounds like a pretty good deal. Uh, we got some code cards. Oh, so the code card's still rocking like five, to anywhere between five and seven dollars. Oh, Jumbo card for one dollar. <laughs> All right, so prices are kind of all over the place, but either way, I still think this, uh, you know, is a great example of when a promo or a card is only available as a promo, and when it is good enough, you know, it, the secondary market can be, uh, not, I'm not going to say lucrative, but you can get your value back pretty easily if you buy the sealed products. All right, VMAX code cards, looks like it's about less than $3 still, so not that surprising there. All right, so Cosmic Eclipse at this point is old news. I was gonna take a look at the Sword and Shield pre, uh, pre-order pre prices, but you know, there's just not enough data and almost always those numbers mean nothing. In my opinion, a week after release, which we're still like a good amount of time away from, you know, they just tank so fast as people just do openings and then post their listings. So, but Cosmic Eclipse definitely settled. <laughs> Charizard, you know, is probably around 40 and then nothing has changed here nothing surprising uh all right well we will look at the main card so yeah bit actually these are light play let's find one that's near mint near mint will still go under 40 dollars on ebay if you want some sold listings actually some of these are pretty high i'm not sure why you spend a hundred dollars on this card 50 even 50 of us best offer 30 that's not too bad if you really want this card I don't think this will be much of a collectible. It's kind of like that, that Reshizar came out of the gate like, oh, $200. And now you can pick it up for like, I don't know, a third of the price. So I'm definitely steering away from picking up any singles of these. I've been literally burned hard enough from Reshizar. All right, let's go to Hidden Fates. Ah, so I'm picking up all the rest of the cards I need. And uh, while well, like, hey, look, a gold card for $25. While compared to like trying to pull it, that's amazing still like, even though I only need eight cards, like, oh, wow, that was more expensive than I was expecting. Most expensive one is Lele. Uh, but yeah, Evolutions are still doing pretty good. I didn't need the Mewtwo, which, ah, that one's pretty high too. Shrine, pretty good. So I think the other Evolutions are pretty low. So I think, especially with this 10%, you know, to me, this is probably a great time to pick up any Hidden Fates cards that you're looking for. Again, I'm just going to complete my master sets, and then we'll... <laughs> All right, let's move on. That was uh, some... Uh, that did some damage to our walls for sure. Let's zero in on Charizard. All right, so we are back over $200. Uh, so maybe we were right the first time where first we said it'll stay around 200, but then there were signs of it going below 200. But at least on TCG player, it seems like it rebounded back to there and we'll see if it stays here or if it does for how long. Um, with 10% back is now a great time to pick it up maybe uh but at the same time if uh yeah this thing could keep going down you know maybe i was wrong about saying it'll stay around 200. when we look at ebay definitely everything will just be a little bit higher uh, i think it's just that effect where yeah I, as a person that just happened to pull jars art i'm not comfortable selling for 200 i think i get a lot more uh whether or not that's right remains to be seen so but yeah so 215 this is a custom card wow 275 that's very very surprising I'm not sure what the deal with that one is. And this is, wait, we're looking at sold. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. These are, if you want to pick it up now, let's go to the sold. Here we go. 230. But yeah, still hovering high. Higher 200. That actually feels pretty low for eBay. A lot of these 230s. Maybe that one's not that well-centered or something. 
and yeah so still significantly above 200 for ebay actually with all that information it probably maybe is a good idea to pick it up off tcg player but i would not suggest doing so uh cynthia off ebay still a little bit over 30 30 dollars at the end of the day and PSA 10, okay, I forgot about this tab. Uh, yeah, it looks like with best software accepted, so maybe we are starting to get below that $500 mark. Oh, 450, 460, that, okay. PSA 10 is, I feel like it's tanking super fast. Uh, 450, we're already at 450 for PSA 10 Charizard. 420, oh my gosh, 430 for this card. This thing is dropping like crazy. Um, I'll still definitely get mine graded, but as far as picking up any off the secondary market, I'm gonna wait, see how far this thing goes. We're already below 450. All right, so on to some new topics. In case you, um, you know, there are plenty of places you can pick up PSA cards. I think one of my favorite ones is basically every month PWCC has a uh, a wave of Pokemon stuff, a wave of magic stuff, which I don't really buy anymore. But usually what I go to, just go to PWCC, find their eBay store and type in Pokemon. And then just to, I'll just go like ending soonest or something like that, just so I don't get, don't get any repeats. And uh, let's see, how does tell me how many results we're looking at? Uh, I don't see the number, but yeah, they have plenty of things and extra ending in just over a day. So they do these every month. It's amazing when they line up nicely with eBay bucks, but it's, that's very hard to predict. And so they have everything from obviously a lot of Japanese cards, base set stuff, everything you can think of. Although, although it's kind of like people submit them to BWCC this, for them to sell on their behalf but you can get some of the best cards. Here's a Shadowless PSA 10. And so in case you're wondering like, what is a good way to pick up PSA? This is one way I would recommend is just take a look at what they have and then you figure out which ones you want to pick up and then do a little bit of research. Just check, all right, are there any listen on Buy It Now just for a reference, like I can pick this up potentially at any time to some degree. And then you can look at historical data, go to sold listings on the search and figure out, all right, this is what has been paid historically and kind of like what your limit is and then you and at least I structure my bids based on that. Basically, I'll take whatever kind of like is the average and I'll go a little bit lower because, you know, I'm looking for a good deal. If I don't pick it up, no worries there. Um, eBay Bucks did kind of like release not too long ago. So I have kind of like under 200 to potentially pick up some of these cards. And so now we're going to zero in on some of the cards that I'm looking at and revolve around those cosplay Pikachu cards. All right, so I figured I'd take this moment to just show off some of the ones I picked up. I'm actually pretty happy with how my cosplay Pikachu cards collection is coming along. I feel like uh, some of my Japanese stuff is coming along better than my English based stuff. I've talked about many times how Japanese spout promos or Japanese promos are just so much better than English ones because they have so many Japanese exclusives. And I feel like this is a perfect example. And there are so many like I that I didn't even know exist. Uh, watching some of like SM Pratt's videos, he once one day someone went like, "Oh, the Uniqlo collection. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uniqlo collection? That's a clothing store." And then there was like all these Pikachu's in like different Uniqlo clothes, and then that got quickly added to my list of stuff I want to pick up at some point. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of these, and so some of the PWCC listings are for PSA tens of these. And I figured I'm gonna do the research anyway, so I figured I'd do it with you guys to figure out like. All right, what, what is the going rate for these? And then I can use that information to figure out what price I want to. So most of these have full art variants, but then they almost always have like a regular um, version. And so like this is the one of the Mega Charizards. And then this is the full art variety. And these are just so cute. When I first saw these, I... Uh, so th these come in kind of like, kind of like um, not too different than our GX collection boxes where you can buy a sealed product. It's kind of like in a box or it's more closer. It looks like a booster box kind of thing. And then this is the other Mega Charizard. But then here are my favorite, but anyway, yeah. So I have uh, some of the sealed versions of these, uh, but you know, I don't have them to show. I kind of have them uh, safely tucked away in storage. But then Peak or the Mario ones is one of my favorite ones. Although there's still probably ones I'm not even aware of. There's so many. And they are just amazing, obviously with Luigi. And then the full art version. I only have one Luigi, but look at that. You know, this is something 
definitely not going to be reprinted and probably wasn't too easy to kind of like work something out uh i guess they're i'm not sure if japanese is all nintendo or what but uh to get the rights to to print these but mario this one is my favorite one mario pikachu man, it's so cool imagine you know it's so unfortunate none of these things make it into english but anyway these are some of my favorite japanese promos and uh yeah there's again there's probably there's tons of them if you haven't ever uh kind of like tried to dip your toe into the wonderful world that japanese promos i think this is an awesome place to start and so next we're going to take a look at some of the pwcc ones that are on auction to end soon and then we'll kind of go through the motion show you the motions that i go through to try to figure out how much i want to pay for them all right here we go the first one we have is the magic carp so I am going to skip one step. I'm just going to use PokemonPrice.com instead of, you know, you should always go through an additional step, which I didn't have time to set up, which is just do a search through eBay for um, the, this exact card. So the Magikarp Pikachu PSA 10, and then they'll just go by sold listings to get an idea for. So I'm going to try to skip a step and just use sorry about that. Uh, use PokemonPrice.com, super useful website and if you can see these huge price price fluctuations so the only downside of going with this approach is sometimes the listing will have both cards the gyarados and the magic card for example uh so we can wait for that thing to load and but no actually this one was just the one card uh but so it seems like there's no obvious trend these things are kind of all over the place but i guess if we were to zero in on more recently anywhere from 90 to i mean under 100 in 2019 up to upwards of 150 so it's going to be hard to zero in on like figure out how much i'm willing to pay for this card um i don't know maybe probably won't definitely won't go above 100 i like picking up some of the psa 9s because you could get them for really cheap just to have uh, but yeah, Magikarp is going on sale from PWCC, and then we got the Gyarados one. So far, the actually the highest bid that they're showing is pretty low. And once again, these things are all over the place. I suspect a lot of these $200 ones are for both cards. Uh, but let's just take a look at... Okay, so I'm guessing these are the single ones, and 130 to 96. This is very interesting. I wonder if this means this is not really an established market where the 9 has some overlap with the 10. Although maybe again, that's just because you picked up both cards in the listing, but it only reports it as one as far as this one goes. But yeah, this nine did go for at one point, oh, look, it looks like US is about 64. And then this one went for 96. So very interesting, a lot of variants. And maybe that means that, well, it would be great if that means I could pick it at a cheap price because there's no established value, but I'll just figure out what, what my limit is make a bid for that and then call it a day here we have the mega charizard it right now is about 81 actually one thing to note is that while if you take a look at this if we compare to like shiny charizard like oh well this thing is really easy to grade look how many tens there are compared to fives that's not well it's not an incorrect statement the thing is to buy these boxes is really difficult it's not like hidden fates where you'll probably be able to pick up uh you know sealed booster packs a year from now two years from now as far as i'm aware most likely the printing of this is long gone and then you're just trying to find people that haven't opened that box or just find raw copies which isn't that hard but there's no guarantee you'll get a 10 even if this card appears to be really easily graded a lot of my cards are still kind of like in their plastic which to me is like oh man maybe that means it's really good quality i'm not really sure we'll see when we start submitting stuff to psa um but yeah for the other charizard this is the y charizard actually i suspect that this is one of the more popular ones so we're just gonna focus on this screen right here so 10s going from anywhere up to like 160 down to uh, that's a psa 8 uh close to 100 this is from september uh so yeah, actually, this makes it like, a little difficult. You know, the, the range seems to be so great. Uh, I wonder if that just means, you know, there's just not a lot of supply. Actually, no, it feels like there's a good amount of sold listings. Uh, so these things will be kind of hard to do, but I think most likely what I'll try to do is just try to lowball it. And again, if I don't pick it up, no worries. There maybe there'll be a different point, uh, which I can try. Rayquaza. Actually, this is one I don't have a raw copy of. And let's take a look. Right now, it's not too high. Uh, once again, not too difficult to grade from the pop reports. 
and all right we have some more listings and once again super high super low i wonder if we take a look at the let's see 10 it's about 100 let's take a look at this 150 well why is this one so high apologies if you can hear that noise i have no idea what's going on maybe someone's i don't know doing some kind of construction and that link doesn't work uh but i wonder if this 150 was potentially a good deal for both the regular rayquaza and the shiny i'm not sure but you know i guess if you're lucky you can pick these up for anywhere from like 90 uh, maybe even 80 that would be awesome to pick up that psa 10. next one is the shiny rayquaza i believe this is a shiny rayquaza right it doesn't really say uh, but to me, like when this the darker closet, that's some, I believe it's the shiny one. And whoo, at one point this thing went for 350. I'm not sure what that that huge outlier is all about. But for actually no, these are nines. Let's turn off the nines. Focus on the tens. All right, so we're gonna probably shoot for closer to 100. Uh, maybe even a little bit lower than that. Maybe we can get lucky. Ah, onto the Mario's. So these like non full art ones, they're kind of interesting. I feel like these are more for completeness. The full art ones are just like leaps and bounds better for obvious reasons, even though they're the, they're the exact same card. And so yes, this one for PSA 10. Let's take a look. 100, whoa, 255. So 255, again, I wonder if this is from because it purchase more than one maybe include luigi oh actually it came with both actually that sounds really good uh but yeah hundred dollars just for the regular version and then we'll move on to this is probably the one i want the most the real mario this although this is so expensive looks like if you're lucky maybe you can get it for 200 at least at this time and most likely it'll be a little bit higher 250 uh maybe even higher than that so we'll see if we can pick it up. Actually, this one might be just simply out of our range for this time. Uh, and it kind of makes that one deal for both of them really good. And then the last one is Luigi. Don't want to forget about Luigi, poor guy. It's going to be significantly lower. Let's take a look. All right, so yes, maybe around... I don't know, it's kind of difficult to say an average because like they're, it's so all over the place. 10's going for anywhere 145, 180, 140, 120. All right, if we can pick that off close to 100, that would be amazing. Uh, so that's going to be it today. Again, tomorrow we'll open up some of these Alolan Slayer slash GX boxes, see what we can pull. I'm kind of interested in that card. Uh, but yeah, just hopefully this is kind of helpful. I definitely recommend if you are looking to get into PSA collecting, at least picking up the, the already graded cards. I think PWCC is a great place to potentially get some good deals, do a little bit of research ahead of time using Pokemon price or just going through eBay search. But uh, yeah, hope that's helpful for some of you guys. And uh, next week, Hopefully we can have some sword and shield stuff to open. Yes, this is me kind of like stalling for that period of time, but that 10% deal was just so good I had to do this video. So yeah, if there's a topic you would like to see covered on Pokemon, let me know in a comment down below. Other than that, guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.